Sei que que eu fui? A ser gilecaz, a se lá que irá! Ieri você a ti? Ieri va drivo e... Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new game that we have going on, the Battle of Essos. Within Game of Thrones, winter is coming. Seems to be fairly interesting, so we've got various chapters. The first chapter is Unify the Dothraki. Second one is Protect Butterfly Valley. Chapter 3 is Save Bay Village. And chapter 4 is Liberate Essos. So you'll see within it, you've got some various points that you need to do so in chapter one we've got the point rewards and this you get by killing normal enemy troops as well as elite enemy troops so there you go those are the points for the normal enemy troops and the elite enemy troops and these rewards are actually quite nice where you're able to select what it is that you want from storm rager set as well as your ESOS talent point. Okay, so it looks as though each chapter is going to have an activity that you need to do, and then you need to score a certain amount of points in order to get rewards. Um, and the first one was to assist Lord Daenerys in killing the Kayan chieftain. Um, and yeah, we were lucky that we did it within 40 hours. So we got an additional reward over there. So that's the one aspect to it. The second aspect to it is then the overall elite ranking. Um, and you can see there's some really nice Night King invasion coupons, as well as the unyielding March skin that you can get. Uh, and it looks as though these will probably um, be based for the entire, the entire game and not just per chapter in terms of the rewards. Those are actually quite nice rewards. And so for these, you only get it by killing um, elites, so your elite generals. So normal generals give you points in order to claim uh, these point rewards. Uh, if you're wanting to rank high and get your castle skin and your marching skin, then you're going to need to be rallying and killing elites. So, so we've, already we've already completed, completed chapter one. Um, there you can see we've completed all of the quests. We started off in region one, and then two, three, four, five, and five. Any work? But um, you can see over there in my setup, I've got the 50,000 T1 as my meat shield in order to protect my troops. It seems like 50,000 is a pretty good way to go. Okay, so what you would need to do is you can go and rally all of these ones. This is a level 6, so it's going to give you far more points and sufficient people in the rally. Let me just then pick one and attack it and show you what it looks like. So there's my cab set up. Let me just scroll down at the 50,000 in order to get a decent meat shield going on. Attack all with cavalry, make sure it's cab, and off we go. You can see further effect has been enabled, so this is important. Um, even although your castle isn't based on your home kingdom, the further still works, and you can get zeroed if you return to your kingdom whilst you still have further. 
So you can see these then are all of the, the normic castles that you'll be able to attack. Um, we don't have any of the elites left because we've already gone and killed all of them. You can see I did lose, but I managed to kill 23 million troops. Um, it seems like the troop defenses are random, so don't get fixated on those. Interesting part then is when you start to have a look at the total. And there you can see I'm doing cav at the moment and I have a extra thousand um, cavalry attack from ESOS. Why? Because over here in your talent tree, you're able to go and select. So you have to first do five of these and then you're able to go in and select whichever ones you are. And there you can see I've done 20, so I've reached a thousand. So I would imagine then when chapter 2 comes out, we'll be able to do army attack 2 and go into cavalry attack 2, which then should mean I'd be able to boost it by 1,000 plus 1,000. So that's pretty good. Um, and because the defenses of the castles are random, you can actually just focus on your troops or go with your bows. Perhaps one of the things to be aware of is that you can return to your castle whilst you're in the game and you can still do your castle activities. If I click on my set of the seven, there you can see I've got further. Um, I've got my army, army size going on. I should probably have done total attack two. Um, so those buffs are all active. Uh, in terms of your setup, it's all important. Make sure you go in with your strongest one over there. Um, so if you want to return, and I know a couple of people battle to return, there's the return to Re Westeros over there. You click return to Westeros. And then if you click on your map, you'll see I've been teleported. But most important, I still have my fervor going on so I could actually be attacked. Um, there is a 30 second cooldown before you're able to go back. So if you've got a rally going on, you might be able to then escape the rally by going into Battle of Essos, which is also pretty cool. So all in all, pretty exciting chapter. One of the great things is here is that you actually cannot be attacked. So I can't go and click another um, person and try and attack them. So this is a huge improvement on the Night King one where we were rallying and attacking each other in the north. So I think the overall strategy to start off with is you'd start with your level one, start with the normal ones, get some points, build up your talent tree to the max, and then you can start to probably solo like I did and score more points. Okay, everyone. So thanks very much for that. I must say I'm really enjoying this event. And here's some footage of RKW and K39 in the event. Enjoy.